Hello, my name is Ian Lister and I work at the Language Centre at uh, Politecnico di Torino. I'm an English language expert and I participated in the EduHack course at the start of this year and then at the EduHackathon in April of this year at Politecnico di Torino. It was a, a very interesting, intense, stimulating experience. Um, also with this peculiarity given the situation we're in that the edu hackathon took place online uh, one thing i would say immediately is that although it was online it never felt like a virtual experience it, it was a very real experience that was uh, thanks to the organization of the edu hackathon certainly and uh, also to the the other people involved the other members of the group i was in uh, together with one of my colleagues at the language center uh, we made a, a proposal um, which was quite an abstract proposal a very broad canvas um, which took many of the concepts and tools from the course uh, but it needed to be actually made into something more specific and uh, that was what the Edu Hackathon itself allowed us to do. Uh, the other two members of the group I was in, uh, one was from the University of Genoa, uh, Urban Design, uh, Professor of Urban Design, and the other one from the online eCampus University, uh, a professor of uh, Germanic uh, language and literature, uh, old Germanic language and literature, a very heterogeneous group. Um, and I think a key part of making the uh, Edu Hackathon work successfully was going from this heterog heterogen, can't say that word in English, heterogeneous group to a homogeneous group. Um, and that actually was something which developed through the Edu Hackathon itself. Um, we did have an initial meeting before the Edu Hackathon days um, just to get to know each other. Uh, and then we had another very brief meeting just to bat around a few ideas. Uh, one of the key ideas which we came up with was, because of our different backgrounds, to find something that we could work on and put onto this broad canvas. And we came up with the idea of working on the history of the city of York, uh, both in terms of its urban development uh, in terms of its medieval history for the colleague who both Germanic and uh, Old English languages are her field. And uh, then we also decided that it would be something that could be done in English. So myself and my other colleague from the Language Center were obviously uh, involved in that way as well. The Edu Hackathon itself took place over two days. Um, the first day there was a a general meeting with all the groups, uh, again, to get to know each other and to hear about the different proposals. And then we had a morning to work on the proposal, followed by a short break and then a couple of hours in the afternoon. Um, I would say the timing worked very, very well, a couple of hours in the morning, a couple in the afternoon. Um, and another key part of this experience was the help we received from a facilitator actually in the case of our group we had two facilitators uh one uh, information technology expert and then <laughs> let's say thanks to the lockdown his uh, girlfriend was also involved and she was an expert in uh, pedagogy so we had help from both of them and my main worry before the day began was how to take this abstract proposal this broad canvas and turn it into something more specific that could work as a final proposal. And thanks to the facilitator, the information technology expert, the original idea, which was a series of video lessons, was turned into the idea of a, a multimedia wiki page into which we could put all our content about this topic, the city of York, and also all the tools and concepts from the course which appeared in the original proposal. And uh, that first day, we were also provided with a framework uh, to work on, which is very, very useful. It guided us uh, in terms of 
putting down our ideas, obviously not on the paper because <laughs> we were working in a, an online environment, but uh, we managed to get those ideas down. Um, we found that key, which uh, really helped us to, to move on with the work. And by the end of the first day, we were already at a very good point. We'd finished the framework and we just had to take that framework and develop it into a final proposal. Um, I did a little bit of work in the evening uh, just to move some of those ideas from the framework um, PowerPoint into the proposal PowerPoint, but uh, just the bare minimum because then the next day we had another three hours uh, to work on developing that and elaborating that to produce the final product. Um, so that that elaboration again, as over both days, everyone in the group played a part. Um, I think it, the group worked really well. Um, and seeing this come to fruition was a very satisfying experience. Um, so it was an intense uh, two days, uh, but very stimulating. But I don't think we ever felt under pressure that I think the timing was just right to be able to come up with a very good final product which then in the afternoon of the second day, we presented to everybody else. So overall, I think it was uh, an excellent experience. Certainly, um, as I said, it didn't feel like doing something virtual. It felt like a real hands-on experience, despite the fact that uh, we were doing the, the Edu Hackathon online.